and some raindrops. Some you can barely drizzle. see that that's downtown Monument Circle. I yeah. know, but you know, a week from tomorrow, it will all be lit up with Circle of Lights. So <laughs> this is true. Yeah, we need that. dry weather for that right. night. Uh, yeah, we're working on that. That's still, <laughs> You're like, that's let's still take care a couple of this of, weekend yeah, first. That's a couple of weather systems away, <laughs> okay. about a week and a day away. Uh, we do have uh, some rain chances continuing, and that may mix with some snow as we start the weekend. Uh, speaking of rain, it's not heavy, but Andrea and Scott pointed it out from our camera over downtown. We do have low clouds and drizzle and this fine mist. And I know it's dark, but you can see that fine mist and drizzle from our camera in Plainfield, Westfield, and over downtown Sharpsville, too. The light's looking a little blurry. So that's forecast to continue for the next few hours until we can get this cold front in and out of here. We were on the warmer side of that front today, made it into the 50s. There's a piece of good news, 52 degrees this afternoon. We're back over downtown where we have low clouds and drizzle, 52 currently, a southwest wind at 16 miles per hour. We're going to stay breezy, mild with the off and on drizzle, probably through 9 or 10 o'clock. The cold front's still in the western sections of Illinois, ahead of it in the 50s, behind it in the 30s. That colder air will start to move our way over the next few hours. The majority of the steady rain has moved out, so what's left behind the pockets of drizzle. However, as the cold front that's in western Illinois now starts to move our way, it may pick up on that little wave of moisture that's coming out of Oklahoma. If it does, we get another round of rain for the southern half of the state before sunrise tomorrow. We'll time it out with future track 13. Low clouds and drizzle now as the cold front starts to move from north to south. Around 11 o'clock tonight may start to pull in some of that moisture after midnight. That's 3 a.m. Rain chances, at least the best chance, will be across the southern half of the state should come to an end around sunrise. And we do have a little sunshine in your Friday forecast, but we'll be on the colder side of the front. And you can see that with the 7 a.m. temperature of 35. We're only going to be in the upper 30s at noon tomorrow, forecasting a mix of clouds and sun for your Friday. Tomorrow will be a dry day with high temperatures, uh, low to mid 40s for tomorrow afternoon. As we look ahead to the weekend, we'll do so with future track 13. Friday night, we're dry. It'll be late Friday night, early Saturday morning that the next weather system gets here. Yes, we've been tracking an active weather pattern. This weather system, however, we're going to be on the colder side of it, so a rain-snow mix will be possible, and there's still a chance the snow comes down fast enough and heavy enough for some accumulations. We're going to keep you posted on that with the latest analysis tomorrow. Any snowfall potential map we'll have for you tomorrow. 45 degrees, partly sunny and cooler for your Friday. Saturday, a rain-snow mix with potential potential accumulations possible as we get into the end of the weekend 44. The start of holiday week is dry and mild in the 50s Monday, Tuesday, but a big weather system will track from west to east across the country. It aims to disrupt travel ahead of the holiday for us. It'll be rain late Tuesday that may change to snow early Wednesday. All right, a little mixed bag of everything. <laughs> yeah, how do you write that on a right. map? Well,